Several years ago, the U.S. intelligence community began to take precautions to minimize a threat that they coined Tempest. In simple terms, Tempest refers to the unintended emission of energy that is radiated from almost all electronic equipment, including laptops, monitors, projectors, etc. When it was realized that this energy could be captured remotely and reconstructed to obtain the original data being processed, precautions were put in place to mitigate this threat. RF shielding was introduced and required for all places processing classified information. Since then, commercial organizations have also begun to adopt similar measures to protect sensitive areas such as boardrooms and data processing centers. Hello, today we are here with Todd Gardner, President of Signals Defense. I understand Signals Defense has developed a patented RF and IR window film attenuation technology that also has very good light transmission. Yes, thank you. Signals Defense has been providing our RF and IR attenuating films since 2000. And since then, we've installed over 1,000 facilities designed to protect against tempest and electronic eavesdropping. And what's great is when you've effectively mitigated against a tempest threat or electronic eavesdropping, you also have the ability to gain several really great significant outcomes. Among those are including energy savings, physical security, UV protection, and the ability to improve the efficiency of your in-building wireless system. Why would you want to shield your building? We believe building shielding is something that you'll want to do. We also believe that in the future, building shielding will become mandatory. Among the benefits of building shielding, you're looking at security, energy savings, and the improved efficiency of your in-building wireless system. In those security benefits, you're looking at cybersecurity, physical security, and UV protection. Among the cybersecurity benefits of building shielding, you're looking at the ability to protect against radio frequency and infrared threats, as well as the ability to limit your Wi-Fi exposure from your Wi-Fi uh, footprint. The physical security benefits of shielding include blast protection and ballistic protection. And under the UV protection benefits, you're looking at the ability to protect your carpet, your furniture, your artwork, and your people. Could you talk more about the shielding benefits of the Signals Defense Film relative to this Tempest, RF, and IR threat? Absolutely. Our Signals Defense uh, RF attenuating film is designed to uh, mitigate against this uh, Tempest threat. Uh, and with the advent of the software-defined radio, tuning into these specific frequencies has made it a bit easier. With our RF attenuating film, anybody trying to raster image or gather this information that can be recreated would have to virtually be on top of the window in order to take advantage of it. And our RF and attenuating films mitigates that threat significantly. Here's another example of a threat that our RF attenuating films are effective in defeating. This is a low-power, high-frequency RF transmitter that would have difficulty being transmitted through our signals defense film and to a third party at any distance. Infrared or infrared energy can also be exploited. There are devices accessible online that use infrared to capture information from within a room. Signals defense films have extremely high IR attenuation rates that, make, that are very effective against IR signals as well as masking heat signatures. How can RF shielding be achieved for buildings? RF shielding for rooms and buildings can be accomplished through a myriad of ways. In fact, many existing architectural materials already have some inherent RF attenuation characteristics. For example, some concretes, depending on density, could have words up for, uh, upwards of 10 or 15 dB of attenuation. However, in most of the cases, though, the window is the weak spot, the weak link in the uh, uh, architecture. And many, many windows have less than 3 dB uh, of attenuation. Um, so typically, the ability to do architectural shooting comes through the process of the window film application. And what you get in the benefit of doing that is the RF, IR, UV, as well as fall control and fragmentation control from a blast protection standpoint. RF attenuating R-foil can be used to shield walls and in some cases walls and wooden window frames can be painted with RF paint. Wow, there really does appear to be a significant benefit to designing or retrofitting shielding into a building. Could you expand on some of those additional benefits? Yes, in our next video we'll expand on some of those significant benefits. Thank you for watching and please come visit our website at www.signalsdefense.com.